Hello and welcome to part 17 of the Build Diary. Ooh, fence that's not been in the diaries before. Uh, yes, I've moved, certainly for this opening link, uh, down the garden uh, for very good reason because I am sat in a very special place and uh, that's for, well, for reasons we come to. Um, recently, we went up from uh, one shed in the garden to there being two sheds there and an old shed here. So I said to my mum, can I put the TARDIS there? And well, it turns out there isn't a particularly good base there. It's also quite close to a fence that backs onto a playing field. So it might be a bit vulnerable there. So my mum said to me, ah, you can put it between the gazebo and the greenhouse. Well, here's our gazebo, and I will track the camera along. Yes, a bit of greenery, and there's the greenhouse. So it's looking suspiciously as if that bit of greenery will be biting the dust later this year, because my TARDIS is about three foot by three foot at the base width, and so that's where it's going to end up going which is a good slot, so we've got a bit of shade here from trees next door and we're also within good sight of the house and a decent amount of distance from that playing field so let's get back to the build now those of you watching that have seen part 16 uh, will realise that I'm currently working on the first of the corner posts and about a month ago I joined together three bits of wood that uh, formed the start of this corner post and so it'll be time to add that bit of wood there which is the second quadrant to be used but first it's time to take off all these clamps So with those clamps off, we're able to get a look at the story so far. And there's a little bit of overhang in places. That's something that can be hopefully relatively easily corrected later. And I did notice at the far end here that the actual quadrant itself is slightly too long, but not nothing too bad there so uh, let's get on with the glue and uh, fitting the second quadrant to this
What did you support your sunflowers with?
I'm not massively keen on what I've had to do with that sensor clamp, but there's a nasty warp in the wood around there. And so I'm desperately trying to combat it as best I can, but I'm gonna try and put the rest of the clamps in flat like the first two.
Judging on how the other clamps have been effective at acting against the warping by being flat, I'm going to remove this one and put it uh, back how I had it originally with the others and then hopefully that will squish it down. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to fight the warp entirely but we'll do what we can. So there they all are, uh, in position, and um, well due to the warping problem it's not been, and it won't be, as successful a join as the last one, uh, but we're going to leave it now, uh, it will be slightly more than a week, uh, because um, this time next week, which will be the 14th of June, if all goes to plan, I'll be in Glasgow. And why will I be in Glasgow? Well, one, I haven't been to Scotland before, so I thought I'd start visiting Scotland. And two, the most police boxes left in the UK are in Glasgow. So there may be another video in that. Stay tuned. <laughs>